Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an address table like this out of data like this when it's all in one row. So if, sometimes you may get data of people's address, uh, their information, and it's all in uh, one, not one row, but one column. So you have the name in one row, you've got the address in another row, you've got the city, state, and zip in another row. And you want to kind of put it in a table format like this so it makes it a little bit easier for you to manage. You can look at it across and you can also do things like a, a mail merge much easier when it's in a table format like this when you have the fields on the top as the first row and then you have your records on the preceding rows. So let me show you how this can be done uh, programmatically. You don't really need to go ahead and copy and you, you can copy and paste this. You can go control C to copy and paste it onto the different cells here but if you've got a lot of names, if you've got 25, 50, 100 names, you may not want to do this. You want to make it easier for yourself. So there's an easy way to do this. So let me show you how. Now I'm in another sheet here where we have our exact format here, our table. We have our five, five fields that correspond with the five fields here in this particular setting. So each of these is going to be a separate uh, record when you think about it. So what we want to do is we want to transpose uh, that name over here and then address over here and the city, state, and zip. So there's actually a formula that we can use and you can just type in, in direct, IND and direct and then what you want to do is you want to type in A and that's going to be column A and what we want to do is we want to join that with uh, this row command I'll go ahead and explain how this all works once I finish it. You have the row command and you put in parentheses, parentheses and what the row does, it, make, it makes a count of the rows and then you multiply it by five because there's five values here and you want to minus one of them, one minus four, minus the next preceding one down. And so what this is going to do is it's going to bring uh, this value. So if I press enter, whoops, uh, I forgot to put a closing parentheses. You see Excel has closed it for me. Let me go ahead and click yes to accept that change. And what it's done is it's put uh, that value. Now all you need to do is kind of continue this formula all the way down and then instead of that 4 being there, the next one's going to be 3, 2, 1, and then 0. So all I need to do is just select that control C to copy and select this one. Whoops. Press escape. Let me go into, uh, let me go ahead and select this. Control C to copy. Press escape so it doesn't select it anymore. Go into this cell and then press control V to paste and I'm going to go ahead and make that 3. And now you notice that the address comes through. And you'll notice that it picked up the second um, record here. And I'll tell you why that happened. Let me go ahead and finish this one first. Uh, we can go ahead and go into the next cell. Press V, Control V to paste. This is 5 minus uh, 2. And then that's St. Louis. It picked up St. Louis. And I'm in this cell, G2. Go ahead and press Control V to paste. And that's going to be 1. And then go into the cell, Control V to paste. And that's going to be uh, 0. So let me tell you uh, the formula for why, why, what this is doing. So what is happening here, let me go ahead and, and bring up the formula evaluator and it will kind of tell you what's happening. I'll bring up the formula evaluator. It's called, it's, you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt T U F. That's going to bring up this evaluate formula window. You can also go into the uh, formula and go under the uh, evaluate formula command here. It will bring up the same window. And let me go ahead and reference and, and tell you what's happening right now. This formula evaluator is telling you that it's picking up the row and the row number, this, this command, this function is telling you uh, it's going to give, it's going to increment the row. So we're on the second row here so it's going to bring back us the number 2. So that's why we have that 2 there. And that 2 is multiplying by 5 which gives it 10 of course. And then you minus 4 which is 6. So it's going to pick up the first value, it's going to combine, this ampersand is combining A and 6 so it's giving you cell A6. So what it's going to do, it's going to go cell to cell A6 and bring back Frank Zimmer. That indirect function is bringing back that reference, right? So now you have A6. So it's turning A6, the text, into a cell reference, cell A6. So if it's just A6, uh, if it just says A6, you didn't have this indirect function, Excel will just see that as a string, A6. But once we put A6 indirect, it's going to call up, it's going to reference that as a cell and bring back the value in A6. So if I click evaluate, you'll see that Frank Zimmer is there. Now let me go back to why we are picking up Frank Zimmer as the first one. So the reason why I picked up Frank uh, first is because this row function was in the cell. So basically, once we put a row function in that in the in the cell where it's in, this is the second row. It's going to put in number two. So all we can do is we can go ahead and just 
delete this and make the formulas go up here first. So that's the first row. And then later on, when we get our values, our, our records here, we'll just copy it into another sheet with this already there as the um, headers. So what I can do is I can just take this, Control C to copy, or just Control X to cut, and up here, Control V to paste. Right? And now it's picked up Joe Smith because this row has indicated now it's in row number one. So if I go ahead and go to the formula evaluator, it's going to say, okay, which row are we in? We're in the first row. One times five is five. Five minus four is one. So it's going to pick up A1. It's going to join A and the one. And it's going to be the indirect of the string A1 and turn the string A1 into a cell reference. Cell reference A1 is Joe Smith. So if we click evaluate one more time, we'll see Joe Smith. And the same thing is happening for uh, the other cell. So if we go into uh, E1 here, we go to evaluate formula. We see that you know it's picking up the first row. And then it's going to times 5. Then 5 minus 3 is 2. Then it's going to be A2, reference cell number A2. It's going to pick up 1, 2, 3 Main Street. So let me go ahead and close that. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and select this range from D1 to H1. And we click this fill handle here and kind of drag it down. So what it's going to do, it's going to copy the formulas down. right? So it, I copied down a little bit more extra. It's probably, it, it probably only goes up down to Sally. Uh, Thompson here, so that's the last one there, and that's why we have zeros here. So I can just go ahead and delete that. But you can see it's picked up uh, the other records. So let's say, for example, we go to Sally Thompson. Well, let's go to uh, Pankaj Gupta here. So if we go there and click e Evaluate Formula, which row are we in? We're in one, two, three, four. It's going to pick up the fourth row, All right? So four times five is twenty. Twenty minus four is sixteen. So that is going to be the 16th row there. So if we combine A and 16, that's A16 here. It's going to bring back the cell reference and bring back the value in A16. If I click Evaluate one more time, and that's what it's going to do. So I'll go ahead and close that. So there's how we can take from one cell or one column of uh, data, like these are addresses, and kind of put it into a table. And so what we can do is we can have our table here. Maybe we have our name. I can just go ahead and go to Sheet 1 here and copy this down. Control C to copy and then Control V to paste here, and then go to Sheet 2, and then take my range, Control C to copy. And I don't, I don't want the formulas anymore, so I could go ahead and go to Sheet 3, and then over here, I'll go ahead and click uh, Paste Special, or Paste Values, just the values. I don't want the formulas. So these are going to paste just the um, outputs of the formula, not the formula itself. So basically, this is the view of what you've got. Uh, if you go into the formula bar, you can see that it's a formula. But when you copy and just paste values, you would just get those values. And now you can use this in a database for your addresses, or you can use it in a mail merge to send out form letters or whatnot. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.